so from so from some research <laughs> get, get it out <laughs> god um okay Hi my loves, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Vanessa, Vani for short, and on this channel I'm documenting my Amazon journey, sharing my tips, tricks, and lessons I've learned along the way. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to print and edit your FN SKU labels. So first you're going to go to inventory, then manage inventory, then you're going to go to the product that you want to print the labels for, you're going to hit the arrow down button, and you're going to go right to print item labels. Now, if you don't see the option for print item labels, you would have to change it to fulfilled by Amazon. So this would change it back to fulfilled by merchant, but just click that. It give it a few minutes and then it'll give you the option to print item labels. So you go ahead, hit that. Here to give you the item that you wanna print, you can put here how many labels you want to print. If you're just trying to send it to your manufacturer, you can just put one and send. In our case, we're trying to edit, so you're going to put one. Then here, you're going to pick the size that you want the sticker to be. I originally had chosen the 30 up labels, which is this, the one by two and five eighths but that is a skinnier label. It's basically like this size. It's tiny, it's slimmer, and how I wanna edit my label today is to add the warning sign. So this skinny label is not gonna work because I need more space to add the warning information on the label. So for this example, I'm gonna use the 20 up labels, the 63.5, because this will have more space. You're gonna print, the barcode you're going to hit ok and then it'll download for you this will pull up the fn SKU. so this is the actual barcode this is the unique number and this is the name of the product that you're selling and it's sold as new so what you're going to do you're going to screenshot this and you're going to capture the image then what we do we put it on our desktop that's how i do it so after that i go to canva Canva is a website that I go on to edit or create my Instagram posts, my YouTube thumbnails. So this is a great way to edit our labels. I go right up here to create a design. Then I go down to custom size. I put 500 by 500 pixels, create new design. Then it'll take me here. From here, I can upload or drag my image on there. And it'll start right here. We'll put it on there. Then we can make it bigger and fit neatly in the middle of our template. Before I continue, I wanted to remind you that when we were creating our shipping plan, you can select if you want Amazon to add these labels on for 55 cents or you will do it or your manufacturer will do it. I recommend that you put buy seller, so meaning you do it yourself or your manufacturer because having Amazon do it is definitely going to eat into your profit and that's something that we don't want. If you want a refresher on that, I'm going to link that video in the description. From research that I've done, every product is required to have the made in China on it or wherever it was manufactured on the actual label. This is important for customs and so there is no holdup and everything can go smoothly. Also, most products are shipped in poly bags, which hold materials from your product or pieces of your product in there. And we're required to have a suffocation warning on them. To get those specific requirements, all I do is just go to Google and type in Seller Central poly bag requirements. Here, it'll give you the information for the poly bag. So poly bags with a five inch opening or larger, measure when flat, must have a suffocation warning. And then right here, you can just easily copy this and paste it onto your warning. Here, it's giving you the print size. So if your packaging is 60 inches or more, the print size should be 24 point and so on and so forth. I'll put the link to these specific requirements in the description for you guys. Okay, now back to Canva, we're going to go right over here and hit text. Then you're going to add a subheading. You can edit this and add made in China or wherever, you know, your um, manufacturers at where it was made. It'll make it, it'll put it to the middle with that line. Perfect. 
then you can add you can go to item elements and you can look for a warning sign and this is a good one right here you can bring it down make it smaller you can also make this a little smaller I put that right there so everything can fit then i'll go back to this amazon warning i'll copy it come back here go back to te text and we'll do this one and just paste that on there bring it down make it smaller so we can see it and remember to say within the minimum size print so i am going to do i'll do 10. line this adjust it how you please then you can look at it it all meets the requirements it's 10. as long as it looks good to you then you can go ahead hit share download and you can pick most of the time i think png would be best but when i send my manufacturer the label in the png form they told me that it was coming out fuzzy so i had to download it in a pdf form that worked for them so we go back here download it once it's done you can grab it made in china png and here it is this is your new label that you'll be sending to your manufacturer or printing it out yourself. Once you download it, then you can go ahead and print it on the actual label that is that size. Make sure you get the correct labels or have your manufacturer do it for you, whichever one, like I said. And it's just those two steps. Pretty simple, pretty easy. But as always, if you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll definitely answer you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're always notified when I upload something. And as always, I'll see you guys soon. Bye, my loves.